in Majorca. We're in Palma, the capital of Majorca, and we're going to hop on a ferry shortly after a few kilometers inside the, the town, ne negotiating our way to the ferry, and then we're going to Barcelona. From Barcelona, we'll overnight, then we'll go to Bordeaux, and then we'll overnight there, and then up to Cherbourg and get the ferry back to Ireland. We'll see if we're still talking by the end of it. I'll drive straight ahead. Okay, I'm just getting used to the size of this car. We are leaving Palma de Mallorca as part of the first leg on our Skoda Kodiak adventure. Just big expectations for this car, obviously, but Skoda have done so far a very good job. But it's going to be very interesting to live with it for this week to see exactly how it goes. speeds up again. Oh yeah. I didn't touch the paddles. It's very clever. You're very clever. border of uh, Spain and Andorra and uh, we had a nice drive about four and a half hours. We're looking forward to getting up into the mountains now and retesting out some testing roads with some nice bends and sharp hairpins in it. about Kodiak is, apart from the shape, everything's going SUV these days. Uh, the only growth area in the next few years in the motor industry will be in A, B, C, D. They're the different sizes of SUV. Everybody just wants one. But Skoda do lovely things naturally, still throughout the range, like even in the filler cap here, you'll find an ice scraper, okay, so you can scrape off the ice. And it's also a magnifying glass if you can't read the tire pressures, which are listed in here as well. So again, Simply clever, as they say. The door protectors that pop out are, are really, that's going to save so many people because when you open it and out it comes, that, that little lifesaver there is, I'd like to have it on lots of things. Who's going to buy the Kodiak? I think families. Um, there's a huge demand and there's a constant stream of inquiries looking for seven seaters. And I think the reason they're looking for seven seaters is not necessarily because they want to occupy seven seats at all times, but they want that flexibility and the reassurance of knowing that if they need an extra seat or two, it's there for them. Having spent so much time in it, it is the perfect family car. Um, Conrad loved driving it, I love driving it, Cooper's so comfortable in it. Um, you do feel it's so spacious inside, but yet when you're looking at it on the road, it looks so compact. Um, and it's just so comfortable and they're all the nice things that it has you know the heated seats or the cooling seats or all the little added extras but most importantly it's all the safety features that are there and you really do feel you're safe in the car there's automatic child locks on the driver's doors so those little extras I think just as a family it puts your mind at ease. Umbrellas in the door pocket it's like the door protectors it's just one of those things that go why don't more people do this kind of thing um, I'm absolutely one of those people that 
always forget to have an umbrella and we'll pull up somewhere and go crap i'm gonna get soaked here having things like that there that just makes life so much easier and it's just one of those easy things Well, here we are at the end of a wonderful road trip with Skoda. 1,300 kilometres I put up in this car. Not too many people get that sort of time in a car at a launch. And I must say, I came with a totally open mind about the car and I've gone away really, really impressed with it. Uh, one to watch. Kodiak is a car to watch out for. It'll make an impact. If it passes the test of a three-year-old boy, I think it'll pass any family test. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, my.